What's up YouTube? This is Andrew with Programming Liftoff and today we are going to create a website using GitHub Pages. Alright, so the first thing you'll need to do is create a GitHub account if you don't already have one. Um, if you do have one, just log into GitHub. And then next we are going to create a repository. So to do that you can uh, just click on the new repository button and that will take you to, to this screen. Um, so here you'll want to uh, type in a repos uh, repository name. I'm just going to use uh, hello world uh, for the name. And then for the description you can uh, leave it blank or type something in. We'll just say my first github pages repository and then down here if you have a uh, free github account then the only option you can select is public otherwise if you're paying uh, you can select a private repository but we're not going to put any sensitive information onto this into this repository so a public uh, repository will work fine for this tutorial um, and then go ahead and initialize this repository with a readme then we can click create. All right, and now we have a repository. Um, next thing we're going to want to do is enable GitHub Pages. Now to do that, we'll go into the settings up at the top. We'll scroll down to the GitHub Pages section, and we'll select a source. This is the um, it's the branch or directory in your repository that you want to be the root of your web page. We're going to select the master branch. And then we'll click save right here. Alright, and that will, that will create the GitHub Pages site so you can scroll down and you, you can see that the site is ready to be published at this URL. So I'm going to go ahead and open this in a new tab. And there it is. That's our GitHub Pages site. And you can see there's some content here already. And if you go back to your repository, scroll up, um, you can actually see that what it's showing is the readme.md. So it's showing that hello world and then the, uh, the description, my, fir my first GitHub Pages repository. Uh, that's what's showing up here. So if you want to overwrite that, uh, we'll go ahead and create a new file right here. And we'll just do an H1 heading and we'll type hello world. And we'll close that tag. We'll name this index.html if you're familiar with uh, web design you'll know or web development you'll know that the index uh, HTML file is the first file that gets loaded for a web page um, so we have a really simple web page here and we'll just say create home page for the uh, commit message and we'll commit that file Alright, and now we can go ahead and go back to our website and refresh it. And as you can see, it's updated with our index.html file. So if you have a what website already created, maybe you created it and you're viewing it locally, um, you can go ahead and just upload. Uh, you can see how simple it is to create a GitHub Pages uh, website and you can just go ahead and upload uh, your website files and those will be served. Um, GitHub Pages is for static websites only, not, uh, not dynamic, uh, that has a server backing it. Um, but you can still create pretty amazing websites uh, that are static websites. Um, so that's really cool how, uh, how easy uh, GitHub makes it to uh, create a website and it's free and you get a uh, customized URL uh, which is cool. Alright so one more thing I'll touch on in this tutorial 
If you go back to your repository and you click on the settings button, you can go ahead and scroll down to the GitHub pages section again. And I will mention, um, if you can't view your repository, um, sometimes it takes five to ten minutes for the site to be published. Uh, you can keep checking the settings page and once it says your site is published um, you should be good to go. Alright so then if you scroll down here you can also choose a theme. So GitHub Pages uses Jekyll um, to, for the sites and you can uh, it integrates pretty straightforward there's like one line uh, to, to add a theme to the site. Um, so we'll go ahead and choose a theme. Um, it's a nice GUI interface to choose the the theme and we'll go ahead and select this first one right here the Cayman theme um, it'll show you uh, readme you can go ahead and just uh, commit the changes alright and then one more thing we'll have to do is delete this index.html file so to do that we'll just click on it click delete and we'll commit that and then if you go back to your web page and refresh it it might take a minute um, but as you can see it added this new readme.md markdown file and this uh, this is just some filler content that it has. You'll want to replace it with your own content. Um, you'll also see that they created a uh, config.yml uh, file. So if you go there, you can see that's where the theme is set in that file. Um, so it's very little configuration to set this up. If we go back and refresh, now we can see it. It looks really nice we get all these styles in our github pages site with very little effort um, which is really great you can see how the markdown gets formatted on the site everything looks pretty good and you have a good looking site in a matter of minutes um, so that's a really awesome feature of github pages that's how to create a basic github pages website um, also, we have a uh, we have a tutorial on the Programming Liftoff webpage. Uh, so if you go over to programmingliftoff.com, you can click on the blog uh, in the in the menu. And if you scroll down, uh, you can see this is also a written tutorial. Host your first website on GitHub Pages. Um, so if you want to know a little more or get confused along the way or just prefer to read the tutorials um, you can find most of the tutorials on our website in written form as well with lots of pictures um, so go ahead and check that out uh, otherwise uh, I hope you guys were successful in creating your first github pages website and thanks for watching